What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of, well, we're going to be working with uh, ASP Classic SQL Server. What we're going to be doing is that we're actually going to be creating a connection string within ASP Classic to connect on to a SQL Server. Now, I'm running SQL Server in-house on my laptop, but I also connect on to SQL Server uh, through our hosting provider. So I've got two different connection strings that I use. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to go ahead and write up some code to connect on to our connection string. So we're going to do set uh, con, which is our connection, then equals create object. And then we want to do adodb dot connection. Okay, this right here is creating this con, which is our connection, so that we can use it uh, to open up our connection string. So for our in-house, which is our local connection, we're going to be using the following code. Uh, con .connection string, And then we're going to do equals and end uh, begin and ending quotes. So we're going to do provider equals SQL OLE DB semicolon data space source equals okay now this right here is the your server name or computer name and the instance if you do not know what the computer name is or your instance name is you open up uh, your SQL server management studio whenever you open it up you choose the very top right here and then it's going to give you this information it's going to give you the computer name and the instance name okay so you can either come here select this or select this and right click and choose copy and then come over here and paste that in right there once you do that you add in a semicolon and then we're going to do database oops and we need a database so we're going to come over here oops and we're going to create a database so let's go ahead and open this up right click on database and do a new database we're going to do this one as test and our options we're going to change it from full to sample click ok and that creates our test database right here so that's what we're going to uh, connect on to so we're going to type in test right here semicolon and now we're going to do user ID oops bring that back there's no dash just a space ID equals and then you just type in the username for this account so or for the connection onto the SQL server and then semicolon then we're going to do our password and we're going to type in that password for this account okay so now that we got that done we're going to come down we're going to do con dot open. Save that, and then whenever we come down here and run it, uh, it should run without any errors. And there it goes. So it ran, ran without any errors. So if you get an error, it would be something like this right here. Okay, if you misspell the server name or the instance name, then it's going to sit there, and you can see it churning right there. And it's saying it's waiting on the connection. And so it's going to give you this error, SQL Server does not exist or access denied. And that's because we uh, typed in the data uh, the uh, data source name incorrectly. And the same thing is going to go for your database name, your user ID, and your password. If you spell any of this wrong and you get this error, then simply go on yonder and correct it. Now, if you add in a dash anywhere, then you're going to get this error. Okay, it says invalid connection string attribute. And what that means is anytime that you see string, that means that it's something within your string here that is wrong. So what you got to do is you got to look through and go, okay, what did I type in wrong? And it's simple. There's not supposed to be no dashes. Everything is space. So you got data space source, then you got user space ID. So everything has a space in it. Okay, so that is our connection for our local connection. Now we've also got a connection for our external connection. And so how we're going to connect on to our external one is that we do con dot open and then open and close brackets and then we do provider 
equals SQL OLEDB and then semicolon. We're going to do data source. And then this right here is going to be your external uh, server that you're going to connect onto. So whatever that external server is, that's what you're going to type in right here. Okay, then you do a semicolon, then you do initial catalog. Okay, instead of doing database, we do catalog. Now, I do not have a test database on my external server, so I'm just going to copy out one of my other databases. Paste that in Yana, do a semicolon, and then we're going to do user ID. And then I'm going to copy out that user ID from my external uh, connection. Semicolon, and then we're going to do password equals. And then copy out, paste, and then semicolon, and then ending quote. So then whenever we save this one, we should be able to run it and operation is not allowed when the object is open. So we've already got it open right here, so let's go ahead and close that out. So that's closed. So also close out that one. Okay, so we're gonna use the same create object here to use on both of these. Okay, and it's best that if, you, if you're designing your websites internally on your local system and then you upload them to an external server, it's best to use the same connection, the same name. So basically what you would do is that you would do this and then you would do an if statement. If I'm local, then we're going to use this. Else we're on our external server, we're going to use this connection. So let's go ahead and save that. Come down here and load it. Okay, so everything's working. Okay, so that is how you connect on to a local and an external server. You can also use this same uh, string right here to connect locally as well. Okay, the only thing you gotta do is to switch it around and use it. However, these are the two connections that I use for mine. Uh, the reason why I use them both is because back whenever I first did this, I could not get this one to, to work locally and I could not get this one to work externally whenever I used that type of connection string. To make sure that our connection is active and that we've actually connected onto our database, we need to write a script that will actually state that we have connected onto the database. So let's go ahead and write that out. So we do it if is object con, which is our connection object here, then response dot write the connection try that again, the connection is active, out of break right there, Just come down here and we're going to write if con.state equals 1 then response dot write a connection is made and is open over here we're going to end and if and and if we're going to save this when we come down here right click and reload the connection is active the connection is made and is open yeah it's right here it's causing a problem so that's this it's open to SQL Server. So the connection is active, a connection is made and is open to SQL Server. So that means that you are connected to the SQL Server. So whenever you do your test, you'll be able to tell that you are connected. Okay, Wayne Barron here with DrFix.net. So on the next video, I will show you how to create the tables and then uh, how to test it and run your connection uh, by uh, showing records and inserting records. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.